All right then, Blues. Alex here, Blue Moon Rising TV. The Champions League quarter-final draw is upon us, and there's a whole host of top clubs. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, PSG, Wolfsburg, Benfica and Manchester City. Hey, it's a good to hear that out loud, isn't it, Stephen? Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, it is Long wonderful. time coming. Hey, well deserved as well. City have looked really good in the Champions League. We're going to be talking through the draw, the best team City can draw and the worst team City can draw. I'm going to start at the top, at alphabetical order, Atletico Madrid. Is that a good draw for City? No, I would say that isn't a good draw. They're the niggly kind of fierce, ferocious team that I can see us coming and done against them. I think Personally. it's one of these teams where Diego Simeone like, he plays a lot of big physical football and the last thing that City need is two hard-fought, tough battles. Can you imagine the injuries? Can you imagine the injuries? I can just see David Silva, he's already kind of not 100% yeah. fit. Always They'd do saying, that as well, wouldn't they? They'd go for his ankles and they would. Navas would be on the floor. Well, I think Simeone is a sort of similar manager to Mourinho and just yeah. anything to win, anything to win. Are we saying this is a draw to avoid, Atletico Madrid? It's up there for me, yeah. Definitely one to kind of give a miss if we can. All right, let's stick in Spain then. Let's talk about Real Madrid, Atletico City rivals. Real Madrid, one of the biggest clubs in world football. Yeah, it's probably the only time we'd ever choose them to face over Atletico because at the moment they're not this, they haven't got this air of invincibility that they used to have. You know, they seem to be a little bit kind of hit and miss as a club at the moment, kind of struggling to find a bit of an identity. Zidane hasn't quite you know, work the magic that they would hope and I fancy our chances there. It seems like the Bernabeu is not as scary as it used to be. There's yeah. so it seems to be going on in the dressing room. Uh, you're looking at the players, you're thinking Gareth Bale, Cristiano Ronaldo, hang on a minute, they're still Real Madrid. Yeah, and they've still got the uh, Benzema and all that as well. But you know, like Hamez and Cruz have been linked with moves away and there's a little bit of indecision. I, I don't know, I just fancy our chances. I think with the, a good performance with plenty of energy, we could do something there. So. All right, let's put Real Madrid then in the pile of teams that we reckon we could be in with a shout with. And then of course, further up the coast, Barcelona. Catalonian giants, probably the best side <laughs> in the world. Um, they've took Arsenal to pieces this week, I think it's fair to say, cast them aside. And of course, Arsenal have given City a lot to think about this season. Should we be worried about playing Barcelona? I'd say yes, to be honest. <laughs> I think they're, uh, they're all right. I think, you know, I think they might make themselves a name for themselves, to be honest. Let me rephrase the question. <laughs> <laughs> Barcelona, I'll tell you guys, Barcelona are going to be massive. Let me rephrase the question. Over two legs, is there anyone in the world who can beat Barcelona? It can be done, obviously, because you know, it can happen. They've, they've, they've slipped up to um, you know, lesser teams in the league as well. It's happened, but they're on a, is it something like a, a near 40 game unbeaten streak at the moment, which is insane. And it's, even if the rest of the team aren't playing that well, and for large spells of the Arsenal game, Barca were, weren't this kind of ruthless machine that they have been. But then you've got Messi, Suarez, and Neymar up front, and it just magic just happens, just like that. And with our back line and company out, it's terrifying. Yeah, I think it is terrifying because you think as well is that Otamendi and Mangala, if they've got Messi, Neymar, Suarez running in at them, yeah. I, I dread to think. But in one game, one game on neutral turf, I, I think anyone, anything can happen in football. Yeah. If we can avoid them for the quarterfinals and avoid them over two legs, who knows what can happen. Yeah. All right, so Barcelona definitely one to avoid. Let's talk about Benfica <laughs> then. Portuguese side, one of the sides that are just sort of crept into the quarterfinal. I think it's fair to say, not really had too much attention on them. Top of the Portuguese league. Yeah. Should we be worried about Benfica? Well, they're the obvious ones, I think, that we want to draw. I mean, there's, there's, I know it's the whole cliche about there's no easy games in Champions League and all that, but at this stage, I, I would be looking at a draw and thinking, if that comes out of the hat, then that's a result, that's a victory for us, um, theoretically. But... Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we went away and we struggled like we have in Ajax and Napoli in the past. But that's a team that if we turn up, we should be able to get through. And Definitely give them something to think about. Yeah, yeah. I'd hopefully get that couple of goal advantage. Exactly, and then go yeah. to Benfica. Similar to Kiev that way, you know, do the job in one of the legs and just hold off for the second. All right, OK. Uh, Germany, Kevin De Bruyne's former playgrounds, Wolfsburg. Not doing so well in the German league. I think they're eighth. eighth yeah, the yeah, down um, eighth. They're really struggling with the whole battle of kind of European football versus domestic football. But still, some big players. Probably the third best player in the world, Nicholas Bentner. Um, third? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's gen no. Well, Messi maybe. Who else? Oh, no. uh, it's. Um, <laughs> but let's talk serious now. Is that they've got some big names. They've got to the quarterfinals yeah. on merit. Some people are saying that I think it's I say Twitter, Wolfsburg and Benfica are the preferred draws. Wolfsburg. Easy, yeah, well, that's another one like Benfica you would, you'd, you'd want to kind of see come out the hat. But there's always that kind of worry that when a team's kind of languishing lower in the leagues that they could have that, see the cut runners there, one kind of route to kind of 
appease the fans and just kind of go for it. And there's no pressure on a club like Wolfsburg. I still, having said that, I still fancy our chances against them. But there's always that kind of underdog kind of feel with a club like that, you know, to do something you wouldn't expect. And City tend to struggle in Germany as well. Yeah. But we're not I said that. We didn't, we didn't buy an alliance. We got away at Munching Lab. But, um, OK, so Wolfsburg and Benfica into the teams. Yeah. We're all right to draw. All right, last but certainly not least, Paris Saint-Germain. They're chasing the quadruple this year. Vlasan Ibrahimovic, a lot of big names in their team. Yeah. What are your thoughts? They're a good team. Uh, they're another <laughs> good team that uh, have done all right for themselves. But I, I, I wouldn't fancy PSG. I don't know. They play with confidence and... There's a bit of an arrogance to the way they play at the moment, and they were they were good against uh, Chelsea. Were better than they've been recently um, against them, but they still you know brushed them aside. And I wouldn't really fancy coming against Latin because at the moment he's um, he's kind of he's doing it in the big games as well, and that's always been the criticism of the past, him, isn't it? So, all right, let's wrap this up then, oh, Stephen. I want to hear from you your absolute dream draw and your nightmare draw to come out. Oh, I haven't talked about Bayern Munich. What we're doing, I haven't talked about Bayern Munich. <laughs> Bayern Munich, of course, and we're saving that to the it's end. It's quite a narrative there as well, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like the... so I can't believe I missed it out. <laughs> Bayern Munich, obviously, this is um, probably after the final. If City draw Bayern Munich, I'm going to say it's going to be the game of the tournament because that whole narrative of Pellegrini versus Pep Guardiola. Imagine, just imagine the headlines. 9-0 City. He's Pep. <laughs> <laughs> Quits. I mean, do, out, yeah. do you want to see that? Is that <sighs> going to be Pellegrini's rallying cry? Can we do buy him because of it? Or is it going to go the other way and Bayern are going to crush us? It'd be beautiful in terms of the whole of the romance and narrative of it. But last night, what was terrifying and also exciting equal measure was that when they looked kind of out of it, they just switched it around. Pep, even, even when quite direct, he was whipping crosses in with Bayern and they pulled it back and beat an excellent Juve team, you know, 4-2. Um, and that's scary because he's the, that good a team that I, I just I don't want to face them because, you know, it's obvious they're too good. Oh, it's too good. All right, dream draw, worst draw. Dream draw, uh, Benfica, worst draw, Barca. Yeah, nice, I like it. I'm going to go dream draw. I'm going to say it. I'm going to go, go all out. Real Madrid. I think we can do him. I think now is the time to play him. I think if we can beat Real Madrid over two leagues, uh, two legs in the quarterfinal. That is a rallying cry to show that actually we can compete in Europe. We are one of the big boys. And all this idea about us being a small club, we can do it. Real Madrid is my dream draw. Nightmare draw, just further up the coast, Barcelona. I'm not over two legs, no thank you. Let us know what you think in the comments below. I want to hear your dream draw, I want to hear your nightmare draw, and who you think we're going to draw. Is it Bayern Munich? Is it written in the stars? Let us know in the comments. If you're enjoying the videos, give them a thumbs up. That's always grateful. And if you're not already, subscribe to Blue Moon Rising TV. See you next time.